Hey pop-up camper enthusiast, today I want to show you my solution to yet another pop-up camper frustration. In my first video, I showed you how to turn kind of an empty sitting space into a magnificent little closet for hanging your clothes, because we all know that pop-up campers don't have any place to hang your, your clothes. In this video, I want to show you my solution to yet another pet peeve of mine in my pop-up camper. And I do love my pop-up camper. What I don't love is the lack of usable counter space. This is it for storing everything. I got a couple little places around my trailer for, for putting things, but usually my suitcases go there or maybe my dry goods and everything else has to be stored under the bench or right there. In fact, this is what my pop-up camper usually looks like when I'm camping. That's what it usually looks like. Dry goods, bucket, cutting board, washing dishes, pans, plates and bowls spoons, forks, knives, cooking stuff, other dry stuff. And then over on my stove, I've got the things I tend to use a lot. My coffee pot, use this to boil water and stuff to wash my dishes. And that's kind of all I have. Everything else has got to be stored under the bench or it's got to be stored on top of my table, which junks up my table a lot. There's really not a lot of other places to put things. So my solution was, the part that got me thinking was, it's a pretty tall trailer. I'm not even using any of this space up here. What if I could, could come up with a way to use this space up here? That would pull everything off the counter. So that's what I did. It wasn't super hard. It wasn't too expensive. I want to show you what I did to inspire you to hopefully come up with a system for your pop-up trailer. It's been a real game changer. Before I show you how it's put up, I just want to run over some parameters. What was I looking for? One, it needed to be strong. I tried one of those like tension bar systems like you put like in a shower, a shower curtain where you run it from the ceiling to the counter and then you put like a, a shelf unit on it. I found those things kept falling over. The, the trailer shifted just enough that the bar wouldn't stay tight. I tried buying a little unit, which actually was pretty good, except it didn't hold very much and it took up a lot of the, uh, the counter space, which is what I was trying to avoid. Uh, and it, or I think it was meant to go somewhere else, but I, I don't have anywhere else. So I needed something that was gonna be able to get everything off the counter, but at the same time be lightweight and easy to put up. Here we go, I'll show you what I got. Okay, there it is, sitting on my uh, my bed over here. Doesn't look like much, but you can see it's not very big. Folds down flat all the pieces. I am going to show you how it goes together. We'll talk about what it's made out of, and I'll show you how you take it apart too. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's put up. Okay, to start with, I've got the two feet on the bottom piece of half inch uh, PVC with half inch T's on either end. Flip it over. I do have a washer, a large washer over the top of the hole so that the bar doesn't punch through. You'll see in a minute what I mean. And then I've got a little rubber like a chair, what you, something you put on the bottom of chairs to make them so they don't scratch up your floor. Got two of those. Start with those. Okay, the next piece is the main frame. It's made out of half inch uh, closet rod half inch diameter it's the kind of stuff you buy with those like um those uh, screen those wire mesh closets to hang hangers on i got three feet on each of these four of them and then i have some cross beams you can see and you'll see them even better which are um i guess i turn it this way <laughs> i'm banging into my ceiling these are half inch aluminum wide by eighth inch thick uh, I don't remember how long these are. I want to say like 20 some inches. It depends on how wide your, your sink area is. And I made an X. That's to keep the thing from wobbling side to side. And then I've got one of these bars, which in my case was actually kind of an angle. Can you see an angle? Didn't have to be. I had an idea. It didn't work out. So I ended up just leaving that part. But let me show you. This thing just swivels. The X goes towards the back. You just pop them into the feet. Hear that solid thunk, that's why the washers are in there. And then it swivels forward into the other foot. Push it in. Get it into place. Okay, pretty stable just as it is. And I could have just left it at that, put the shelf up here. I could put another one of these cross beams here to put another shelf. I stopped there because I found a piece. I'll show you that in a minute, but I did not stop there. I have that whole area over my sink that's kind of wasted. So I made another little piece. Let me show you. Here's the next piece. It also has an X that just keeps the things parallel to each other. And then it's got a swivel bar, <clears throat> which is going to connect it to the first piece. 
It's two different size legs, even though this is a half inch again, but the legs are not the same size because I want it to rest on my sink. Like, hold on, oh, I got that the wrong way. Like this. It gets its stability by connecting to the first piece with the wing nut. All of these bolts are number 10 bolts. They could easily probably have been quarter inch. Wouldn't go any bigger than that. I used um, locking nuts on things I didn't want to swivel. And the parts that swiveled, I used, um, I did put like a, a nylon wash in there to help that swivel a little better. The last okay. piece is meant to provide stability to the top of the whole unit because you can see this isn't very strong. Plus, Got no, no place to put a shelf on the top. Just a piece of uh, half inch PVC cut in two sections with T's between them. I do have a blue tape on there that tells me to put that over the sink because the distance is not equal. But this is going to provide stability and give me a place to put my top shelf like this. Just sits up there, doesn't screw on. I had to wiggle that first one. Sometimes they, it gets a little cockeyed, then that's what happens. All right, so that's it. That's the whole shelf. It's very stable. And now I can add the actual shelving. Okay, here's my shelving. I happen to have this in my basement from a previous project, but I've seen people giving this stuff away on next door all the time. People are always pulling these things out. Don't buy them. Goodwill has them. There's one shelf. There's the other shelf. And then I could have put a bar with another shelf, but I ended up finding this thing at Goodwill for really cheap. And I thought, hey, let's get that magnet off of there. It just clips on the bottom like this. It just pulls up here like this and like that. And there is my unit. Now you can see I didn't bolt any of this stuff on. Gravity holds it on just fine. Pretty stable. Let me show you what my kitchen now looks like when I'm using my shelving unit. Alrighty, this is what my unit looks like when I'm camping. You saw it took only a few minutes to set this thing up. Once it's set up, I can put my cooking utensils in here, right next to my stove, along with clipping on my favorite pan there. I've got my forks, knives, and spoons here with my cutting board, plates and bowls here. I, uh, I did splurge for a little spice rack, which I thought was so cute. I got my, uh, I took, I opened up my dry goods and took out my most used stuff. Uh, you know, oils and peanut butters and sugar and stuff. And now I can have them up here versus digging around in that dry goods bucket. And then I put the bucket back in my car. So that just cleared off a lot of space. Uh, some dry, you know, breads, tortillas, whatever, all my snacky stuff over there in the corners. My, uh, my big pot that used to be sitting over here, plus my coffee pot. I have a little towel bar for my, my uh, cloth towel. And then I have a little, I did splurge for these little guys that hook onto these shelves for paper towels. So that's everything that look at how much space I have. That is totally awesome. So before we finish up this video, let's ask the big question, how much did it cost and how hard was it to build? Let's answer the second one first. It was not hard to build. I think I made this whole thing, once I knew what I was doing, I had a couple ideas in my head. It took me less than four hours, just a weekend project. As far as cost, I would guess based on what I did, because I bought a lot of new stuff, it cost me anywhere from 60, more than 60, less than 100, I would say. The most expensive things was these little metal bars. I mean, because they, they come in only four foot lengths and each one of these is almost three feet. So, you know, I wasted a lot of stuff there. You could potentially substitute like wood slats or something. The idea is just to the cross is to just provide some stability so that your legs don't do this. You don't have to use the aluminum bars like I did. Also, it's possible you could find some of this stuff at a reusable store, like a Habitat for Humanity, or maybe ask next door neighbor um, app if anybody's got some something similar laying around for making it. All I needed was a hacksaw, a drill with some drill bits, uh, a wrench, and a screwdriver. I think that's the only pieces I used. Yeah, pretty much. So not too difficult there. And a way to hold all that stuff down because cutting on a round surface is a little bit of a bummer. So I know I told you at the beginning of the video that you that I would show you how the thing comes apart. 
but I forgot and I kind of collapsed the trailer already. So you're not going to see that. Suffice it to say, believe me, it goes down just as quickly as it goes up. Everything folds down and just lays flat on the bed and the trailer, which I've already collapsed, collapses easily on top of it. Having a well-organized kitchen is amazing. It's a real game changer. It makes uh, the space in my, my pop-up trailer far more efficient. So I hope I've inspired you to go ahead and make something for your kitchen. Happy camping, everybody.